top Bible verses from the book of Isaiah. 1 verse 17 through 18. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Encourage the oppressed. Defend the cause of the fatherless. Plead the case of the widow. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are as red as crimson, they shall be like wool. 6 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. 714. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. 9 verse 2. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light had dawned. 9 verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. 11 verse 1 and 2. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of power. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. 25 verse 8b. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. 26.3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. 30 verse 18. Yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. He rises to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. 30 verses 20 and 21. Although the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, your teachers will be hidden no more. With your own eyes you will see them. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. 35 verses 8 through 10. And a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. The unclean will not journey on it. It will be for those who walk in that way. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor will any ferocious beast get up on it. They will not be found there, but only the redeemed will walk there, and the ransom of the Lord will return. They will enter Zion with singing, everlasting joy will crown their heads, gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. 40 verses 28 through 31. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He will not grow tired or weary in his understanding. No one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. 41 verses 9 and 10. I took you from the ends of the earth. From its farthest corners, I called you. I said, you are my servant. I have chosen you. I have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 41 verse 13, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. 43 verse 1a, fear not for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. 43 5, do not be afraid for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. 43 18 verse 18 and 19, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. 44 6b. I am the first and I am the last. Apart from me, there is no God. 44 22. I have swept away your offenses like a cloud, your sins like the morning mist. Return to me, for I have redeemed you. 45 22. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. 46.4. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. 
I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will sustain you and I will rescue you. 49 1b. Before I was born, the Lord called me. From my birth, he has made mention of my name. 53 verses 1 through 3a. Who has believed our message and into whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and familiar with suffering. 53 verses 5 through 6. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. 54 verse 17a. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, but every tongue that rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. Isaiah 55 verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. 62 12. They will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you will be called sought after, the city no longer deserted. 66 2b. This is the one I esteem, he who is humble and contrite in spirit and trembles at my word.